Daly Cherry Evans will become the most capped seagull in history on Saturday night when he leads Manly out against the reigning Premiers. Very surreal feeling, um, passing a legend of the club uh, for something that's obviously you know, held in high regard. I've got a lot of admiration for Cliffy, what he's done at the club and also the support that he's shown me throughout it. I certainly didn't set out to beat a record like this, but I guess along the way, yeah, you sort of, you just want to keep playing because you love it, but the competitive side of you obviously thinks about these things. So, you know, all careers are, have their ups and downs, but um, yeah, I've been love, yeah, I've learned a lot, loved every bit of it and um, really proud moment for me and the family. What an achievement. Daly Cherry Evans, 309 games, surpassing that of the club legend, Cliff Lyons. Uh, this is quite incredible for DCE, who's had an amazing career, ever so consistent, uh, and a great accolade. Oh, it looks well-deserved, doesn't it? He's led the club for so long. It's, it's a funny one. He, he, he's really come along as a man, I, I think. He's, and the respect in the community he's got, is, uh, it's really risen. It's, it's sort of, it's skyrocketed in recent years, mm. just the way he's led the club. I know the players all there are very respectful of the way he, he handles the club. He's a very good captain of the club. Uh, so it's well deserved. You mm. know, sometimes you see these records owned by some players, and you think, oh, geez, how are you going there? But yeah. uh, he won't do anything to embarrass that record. To that point, Kendy, he's developed into a real leader. And if you go back over the years, like there was a period where Daly Cherry Evans was public enemy number one in rugby league. When he backflipped on the Gold Coast Titans, uh, he was booed by his own fans. There was a time where the Queensland Queen, State of Origin fans, did, uh, Queensland State of Origin players were making rumblings about not liking his personality fitting into the side. But to overcome all that adversity and to persevere and achieve what he has, he won a Clive Churchill in a losing grand final side. Uh, it, it's been an epic comeback. He's been quite resilient probably more resilient than what we give him credit for. Hoops, you're right. Remember that back page of the Gold Coast, Borton? They called him a dirty cockroach because he had back <laughs> flipped. There and is. there it is. Right there. Filthy, sorry. Filthy cockroach. There you go. Who would have thought that a Queensland paper would say that about one of their own? And you're right, Hoops, 2018, there was those uh, rumours around that Jonathan Thurston and some of the Queenslanders didn't want Daly in the side because mm. they didn't think he bought the right... Uh, well, he didn't buy into what they were about. 100%. Their culture. And don't forget in 2011, it was a back page story that the Manly boys wanted him out of the club because he wanted more money and they had salary sacrificed for years to keep yeah. that strong team together. So he's put up with a lot, Cherry, and he's come through it all. He's come a long way from that article and the perception of him has changed significantly over the years. I mean, now he's a hero in Queensland. He's won many Origin series and he's almost the first one picked. Why has the perception changed so much from where he was to where... Or, or has it? Has it changed? It certainly has. He was always aloof. I found him very difficult to interview. Now I'm finding him a different person, as you alluded to, Kenty. I think about five years ago, Cherry finally realised that the media doesn't have to be an enemy. And he always had that siege mentality. And he's now let the walls come down. The media's embraced him and vice versa. I think what he went through when that Manly side was split up and they'd won a premiership, it was his first season. And then for players like Glenn Stewart and Anthony Watmo to be forced out of the club, he endured some brutal front and back page headlines at that time. And I think that, that was really... a close-knit side too, Hoops. Oh, they super were tight. very tight. Super tight. Yeah, well, you know, you, you live up there. They were yeah, one of the all-time well, sides. That's the Bulldog's point about not taking the pay cut when they was had. Yes, it did, but, but I actually that. think that, it, like, out of all of that and out of all the adversity that he had to face, I think it galvanised him. And I used to think he was a politician and a charade player in front of the cameras, but I actually think that's just part of who he is. He's a family man. He's got his wife and three kids. He loves spending time with them. Mm. Uh, I think he likes a beer at the appropriate time, Braith. Um, but he, he, you'd probably more describe him as, as more of a square style of a character than uh, some of your ex-teammates, yeah. maybe Willie Mason and yeah. uh, Marco Muley. Yeah, well, it's a big day for him. It's a big game for him and the club after last week losing up against the Dragons in what was a, a shock to all, taking on the Premiers. Uh, the Penrith Panthers, who were awesome against the Roosters. Is it just a case of Penrith turning up and doing what they usually do or can Manly get them in this one? Oh, I don't think any side can just turn up in the NRL, but I'll tell you what, gee, they've been impressive, Penrith. Like, mm. a win without Fisher-Harris, Cleary, Sorensen. Fisher-Harris is back this week. That's a huge inclusion. But Manly off a really disappointing loss, mm. error riddled, back at Brookvale. They've got something to play for. I think if there's going to be an upset, I, I can see it in this game. I really can. I think... 
They couldn't have been worse. We had Tommy on here last night, uh, who was embarrassed, disappointed, and, and really looking forward to get back out there and prove a point. We've seen it their best mainly this year, the week before against the, the against Parramatta, the win against the Roosters. They've got it in them, and I feel like they want to put that performance of last week behind them. I, I actually think they can win. I'm not sure they will, but I, I wouldn't be surprised if they did.